Thank Hello, you. Hello, everybody. Thank, Thank you for time. having me here tonight. Uh, I just want to get uh, everything out of the way right up front, set the tone early. I'm not going to be doing any coronavirus jokes tonight, okay? It's not that I haven't, you know, I haven't, it's not that I haven't written any. I've written a few, but I've done the research on them, and they only have a 3% chance of killing. <laughs> <laughs> frankly, frankly, you deserve better than that. <laughs> You know, I know uh, the world's gone kind of crazy, but uh, I got some good news recently. I think we can all use a bit of good news from time to time. Uh, I found out that I'm actually the most famous person from my high school graduating class. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah. Uh, I just had to get past Jimmy, who got stabbed in the head after prom, and <laughs> Nina, who's already your grandmother. So, uh, the bar was very low, I will admit that, but a win is a win. You got to take them where you get them nowadays. <laughs> I've been uh, trying to get back in touch with, uh, you know, my high school days, you know, talking about, you know, being famous in high school. Uh, I've been watching a lot of old movies, a lot of old, uh, listening to a lot of old music as well. Watched a movie I haven't seen in about 15 years, a movie called Phone Booth. I'm not sure if you guys ever saw that. It was a really big movie, uh, early 2000s. It was about a guy walking through downtown Manhattan, and he answers a ringing payphone. And on the other end of that phone is a sniper who has a gun pointed directly at him. Oh my. It's, it's 2020. That movie really did not hold up, you guys. Nobody, <laughs> would, nobody would believe Colin Farrell is a movie star today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to uh, a lot of old music, like I said. I was getting back into one of my favorite bands, a band called 311. Not sure if you guys remember 311. Any fans? No? Cool? Just me? It's all right. Um, 311. I always thought they had a weird name. So I looked into it. Turns out they named themselves after the local Omaha police code for indecent exposure. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> they thought it was funny, so they just went with it. Uh, not sure if you guys knew this or not, but police codes are not universal. A 311 in Omaha is not a 311 in California. You know what a 311 in California is? Possession of child pornography. Ooh. Yeah, that isn't funny. It puts their song Come Original in a whole new light. <laughs> but, uh, you know, like, like a lot of comedians, you know, I'm, I'm, in addition to comedy, I'm trying to get into acting as well. Um, you know, before everything kind of went to hell, uh, everyone I was talking to in acting, they were saying, hey, you really need to shoot a pilot. You have to get out there. You have to go out and shoot a pilot. And I actually got really lucky before everything went the way it did. I shot a pilot right before Corona hit. You know, I haven't heard anything back about it yet. I'm on a couple of no-fly lists, but fingers mm. crossed. <laughs> yeah. I was uh, very fortunate growing up with my family. Uh, I had a very big family. Had my grandparents living in the house with us, uh, very close with my grandfather. My grandfather, like most men of his generation, fought during World War II. He was a member of the US Army. Unlike most men of his generation, though, he was absolutely convinced that Nazis were gonna make a comeback. And <laughs> surprise! Um, <laughs> but he was, he was so convinced that Nazis were gonna come back that he mandated none of his sons, none of his grandsons, they couldn't be circumcised because that's how the Nazis knew who the Jewish soldiers were. Wow. I really can't argue with that logic. A few problems though. Um, one, we're not that Jewish. Not sure how familiar <laughs> you are with the Old Testament, but Brady is not one of the lost tribes of Israel. <laughs> my, my mom did the 23 and me. we are 2% Ashkenazi. I have a hairy chest and anxiety. That is as Jewish as we get. <laughs> Also, my grandfather fought in South Pacific during World War II. Not a lot of Nazis named Takashi. But most importantly, I think you guys now know way too much about my penis. Um, <laughs> but I'm actually going to wrap up with this, guys. I had an idea for a TV show. I want to get your opinions on uh, it. was going to be a spinoff of Transformers. All right? It was going to be set in modern day. I'm going to call it Cisformers. It's about a bunch of robots that don't change into anything but they have really strong opinions on where you can take a shit. 
that's gonna be my time tonight. Thank you very much, Flappers. You can follow me, tip me right up there. My name is Kevin H. Brady. Thank you very much for having me.